After trying this, I don't know if I'll ever want to use any other pocket light ever again. This is the Aperture MC Pro and it is wildly better than the original MC in every single way except for maybe one. The original MC was one of Aperture's most popular products and when it was released it seemed like we couldn't really ask for much more from a pocket light. Fortunately that hasn't stopped Aperture from giving us increased brightness, better build quality, and a completely revamped magnetic modifier system. The build quality on the original MC wasn't bad and used a single pressable scroll wheel for control. The MC Pro is built with thicker aluminum, a much sturdier composite material, and the scroll wheel has been upgraded to a much more satisfyingly clicky metal knob. They've also added a second button for navigating the menus which makes it easier to use and it feels a lot snappier compared to the original MC which could feel sluggish at times. It's also bigger, thicker, and heavier but all in the best way possible and it's still very pocketable. The original MC kind of felt like a more plastic, consumer level piece of hardware while the MC Pro feels like an industrial grade product that's gonna last forever. The MC Pro is more granular, allowing you to adjust the CCT in increments of 50 Kelvin and the brightness in increments of just 0.1%. It has all the same modes plus extras like gel presets, XY coordinates, and one of my favorites, source mode. Source mode has presets to simulate all kinds of lights that are out there in the real world, which helps you create more realistic lighting setups and special effects. For more permanent setups, the MC Pro also supports wired DMX control with the USB-C to wired DMX adapter. One major feature lacking from the original MC was green magenta tint control. Nowadays, that's something I expect from all RGB capable lights and no surprise, Aperture has included that in the MC Pro. One of my least favorite things about the original MC was simply that it wasn't very bright. The MC Pro is still a five watt light, but due to the new focusing lenses on the front, it's around four times brighter. It does this by bringing the beam angle of the light down to 45 degrees, which in my opinion is definitely the way to go. It gives you greater brightness with less battery usage and also controls light spill better without the use of an additional grid. And you can still turn it into a softer light source with diffusion, which brings me to another one of my favorite things about the MC Pro, it's totally revamped magnetic modifier system. The original MC had a silicone diffuser, which was okay, but not my favorite. The MC Pro not only has magnets on the back for mounting the light itself to metallic surfaces, but magnets on the front to attach all kinds of modifiers. Included is a flat diffuser, a domed diffuser, and a 30 degree honeycomb grid. Another really cool thing about these modifiers is that they're stackable. So you can attach multiple flat diffusers together or combine them with the domed diffuser, or attach 20 different modifiers nonsensically simultaneously. Also included is a mini ball head that can attach to a cold shoe or a quarter inch threaded adapter. It also has a little magnetic foot attachment, which is really cool and I've never seen before. If you stick the light on a flat surface itself, you can't really point it where you need it to go. So obviously having the articulation of the ball head is really useful. You also get metallic plates if you want to attach the MC Pro to non-magnetic surfaces. Even though it wasn't the brightest, the original MC had a good color accuracy and a color temperature range of 3200 Kelvin to 6500 Kelvin. The MC Pro has a much expanded color temperature range of 2000 to 10,000 Kelvin. But that doesn't really matter unless the color accuracy of this light is adequate. I tested the MC Pro using my Siconic C800 from one meter using no modifiers and got the following results. With the light set to 3200 Kelvin, I got an actual CCT of 3185, a brightness of 398 lux, and after adjusting the tint control as best I could, I got a color correction number of 0.2 magenta, so almost perfectly neutral in tint. I got a CRI of 97, a TLCI of 96, and an SSI versus the tungsten standard of 82. The individual R values are also good, and there's nothing concerning about any of the numbers at 3200 Kelvin. With the light set to 5500 Kelvin, I got an actual CCT of 5,333, a brightness of 443 lux, and again, after adjusting the tint, a color correction number of 0.2 magenta. I also got a CRI of 96.5, TLCI of 98, and SSI versus the daylight standard of 73. The only thing of note at 5500 Kelvin is the individual R12 value of 78.7. Ideally that would be in the 80s or higher, but as long as the other numbers check out, especially the R9 value, which is 91, 
I'm not worried at all. So overall, the MC Pro is almost two full stops brighter, very accurate to what the screen says, has a much bigger color temperature range, and with the tint adjustment feature, I have no reservations about the quality of light it can output. The MC Pro will run for about two hours at full power and takes about 90 minutes to fully recharge. The one thing that the MC Pro does not have that the original did have is Qi wireless charging. But what these lights do have are integrated contact pins for wirelessly charging the lights within the eight light production kit charging case. As big of an upgrade as the MC Pro is over the original light, the eight light production kit is that much better. When I opened this thing up, I was honestly shocked because the build quality, accessories, and functionality are unmatched. The case itself is top notch and allows you to charge eight of these lights simultaneously using wall power or with a battery using the DTAP cable. It also has two extra two amp USB ports for charging other things like phones or other batteries. And it also comes with two USB to USB-C cables. Everything inside is beautifully laid out with its own cozy little space. And on top of the usual accessories, you get some extras like articulating grab clamps for added mounting flexibility. The production kit is a dream for filmmakers and gaffers and I think it's one of the most well-conceived products that I've ever laid hands on. And to be fair, it better be considering the cost. A single MC Pro with the included accessories goes for $199, and the 8 light production kit goes for $1,899. You can pick up a single original MC for $90, a 4 light kit for $499, or a 12 light production kit for $14.99. So that begs the question, is the MC Pro worth the extra cost? If you only need the basics, the original MC is still a good choice. But obviously the MC Pro gives you the added brightness, the better build quality, the expanded modifier system, the expanded color temperature range, the tint control, well, you get the idea. Overall, the MC Pro is just better. Of course, there's always gonna be a light out there that does something better in maybe one or two specific ways. But for me, there's nothing out there that compares to the total package of the Aperture MC Pro. But what do you think? Leave a comment and let me know if you think the Aperture MC Pro is a worthy upgrade or not. Links are in the description if you wanna see more about this light or the production kit. That's it for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.